Welcome back to San Agato Studios. Today we are playing a game called Things They Don't Teach You in School. It's a random guessing trivia game. We've got the three smartest people we could find, uh, which isn't saying much. They were actually the only people here today. Our contestants, we got Antonio Prisco. What the fuck? What was that? I didn't like that. That was yeah. insulting. It's not your turn yet. Antonio Prisco, say something about yourself. I'm smart. Keith Sanagato. I'm 12. <laughs> Frankie Alvarez. I am. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> there are two types of questions. One type, you are each going to have the opportunity to answer, and the person with the answer that is closest to the correct answer will get the point. All right. For yes or no questions, you have buzzers in front of you, and I have a little cool device here that's gonna tell me who buzzed first. It's yes or no question. You can't have your fucking hand like this. Fuck you, I can do whatever no, I want. Executive hand. decision, hands behind your backs. Oh! So you gotta, ready? Yes. So for this question, Ant, you'll answer first, Keith second, Frankie third. Mm -hmm. okay. Hispanic man last, not a surprise here. <laughs> the question is, what is the salary of the US president? I, I'm gonna say a modest, 200,000 a year. You think Joey makes 800 times more than the president? <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna go on a limb here, I'm gonna say 400K. <sighs> and I'm gonna split the middle, and I believe it's actually about like 300. It's like right there in the middle, right there in the little beep beep. The correct answer, 400,000. Let's on fucking go! On the money? Let's go! On the money. This is a guessing question, so hands wherever you want them. Not on each other, not on each other, okay. Asses only. What is the most popular day of the week for bank robberies? All right, I'm gonna say Friday. I'm gonna say, I feel like bank robberies, they used to happen a lot here, but now they happen more in like London, and they always say like, it's, it's Tuesday, isn't it? Okay. So I'm gonna go Tuesday. Is that tu Tuesday or Thursday? That is Tuesday. That's Tuesday. Yes, okay. that's English major. I, I think I'm gonna go like, when would, the people in the bank try the least or not care. I'm gonna go Monday. Why well, I think my answer was because I don't know. I just always thought that they would just clear out the cash. Well, it's gotta be when the cash. Like towards the end of the week, you know. It's gotta be and whenever. That's just my whenever show. Brinks shows up. So mm -hmm. like. That's where I was going with it. Well, at this point, Keith is just showing off because the answer is Friday. Holy shit! It's two on the Let's line. go. This is We're gonna need those hands behind your back. Okay. Oh, this is a yes or no question. Oh, shit. Slutty daddy. You didn't say how we could. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't say how we had to stand. Facing forward, facing forward. <laughs> Do bears urinate or defecate during hibernation? I'm kind of scared. What? No, because they're sleeping. First of all, that's fucking false. The answer is no. Stupid. No, 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 they're not sleeping. That's the false Oh, well, 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 I was right. <laughs> I was that's right. Yeah, they're part. just in a so, cave, right? Yeah, no, people, that was a lie told to us. They don't sleep the whole time. They're just like not hanging out. It's 2-1-0. Frankie, not yet on the board, but I feel like he'll know this answer. All right. How long does it take before Viagra takes effect? Frankie answers first. Wait, why would I know this said, one? What the know. fuck does that mean? Well, don't, don't make that face if anyone here has taken Viagra. Dude, I could stay hard forever. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Keith. Um, how long until it kicks in? Um, uh, oh, I'm pretending to not. Oh, God. No, I, I, I've oh. never taken Viagra. Your boy is a stallion. Giddy up. Dude, I don't even know. I'm saying uh, two hours. I'm going to go 30 minutes. You know, you take it a little before, like at the end of the day. I don't know. Do you know? Do you know? You don't. I don't know. Dude, I, I, I don't take this shit. Nine minutes. I don't. I don't know. That's so. That's very specific. That is so fast. Where Advil doesn't take. Advil goes longer than that. All right. Well, I don't know what this says about Ant, but he got it on the nose. Thirty minutes. Whoa! All right. All right. Updated score, Frankie. Big goose egg. Yeah. Big, big fat. Big fat zero. Big fat zero. It's all right. Hey, listen, Rome wasn't built in a day. You know what I'm saying, boys? What percentage of 70-year-olds are still sexually active? I'm doing the, the math right now. It's obviously, let's carry the 33%. I'm gonna say 65%. You know what's funny is I was actually gonna go 60% and Keith went 65, so I, I think I'm gonna stay with my answer. 60%. Locked wow. in. Frankie is on the board. We got the answer is about 50%. Woo! Wow. Price is right, rules. I would have won that. Price is right, I would have won that. Price is right, you would have, but yeah. it still was a dumb answer. What is the most common place to have sex outside the bedroom? 
It's between a car and a McDonald's bathroom. I'm gonna say a car. We're learning stuff about Keith today. Car? I'm gonna say a car. Kitchen. That's where most of the, that's where most of the cooking's going on anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Out. Man, I was gonna go car. I was definitely gonna go car. So now I have to go bathroom. The answer is in the car. Let's fucking go! Wow. Before we move forward with this video, we do have a sponsor for today, and that is HelloFresh. HelloFresh is going to send pre-portioned ingredients right to your front door so that you can cook a nice meal in your own kitchen. You just go on their website, you pick out the things that you want, and they send you all the ingredients, like I said, pre-portioned, so nothing goes to waste. You know, that's nice. And you make it in your own kitchen, and you have yourself a nice meal. It's really good if you want to get into cooking, or if you just, like, make the same stuff all the time, kind of like me, and you're like, I need new recipes. It's a, it's a cool way to do that as well. Um, and, the car, and the things that they send you with the recipe, you can keep them, and then you can make them, you know, another time. Not only that, but it's affordable. It's way more affordable than going out to eat at a restaurant. God knows how much you're paying there. It's even more affordable than going to the supermarket nowadays, okay? You go on their site, you can pick from 40 different weekly recipes, and you can also round out your order with like little snacks or pantry necessities, okay? So they got you covered. So listen, go to hellofresh.com slash 16sanagato and use the code 16sanagato for 16 free meals plus free shipping, okay? Uh, that is HelloFresh.com slash 16Sanagato and use the code 16Sanagato for 16, 16 free meals and free shipping. Are we hearing this? HelloFresh, it's America's number one meal kit. Go get it. How many people are drunk in the world at any given time? I'm gonna go 12 million. Oh, I'm gonna go 13 million. Are you, you fucking, fucking little stupid? bitch? Bro, we're going 150 million. Whoa. 150 million. There's a lot of drunk fucks out there. Keeps a lush over here. Approximately 50 million. Fuck, I knew he was gonna pull some. He brought up prices right and was too fucking pumped. Do human birth control pills also work on monkeys? <laughs> you know that? I don't, but I need to get any points I can get at this point in time. I'm gonna say yes. Maybe I should give another answer. I'm saying yes to the idea of me having to give an answer. I'm gonna lock you in at yes. And I'm gonna lock me in at yes. Because the answer is yes. Yo! See, 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 there's something. Bang, there's bang, there's bang, something going bang, going bang at the dang at the dang at the dang. There's something going on here. He said yes. Do you, going forward for yes and no questions, do we wanna up the stakes? If you answer wrong, you lose a point? Sure. Because sure. it, it deters you from just hitting it just yeah. to correct. say something. Yeah, yeah he's right. Agrees. Correct, right. correct, correct. What is the most common day for looking at porn online? Every day, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, baby. Does it end right. Why? Right? Ant's got to pick one of the seven days he watches <laughs> yeah. porn. Go Thursday. 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 Go on Thursday. You're almost you're close to the weekend, you know? All right, where I'm going with it is, uh, you know, Mondays suck. You need, like, a little pick-me-up. People that watch a ton of porn are super triggered by horniness. So I, don't know I what think the fuck that means. <laughs> I really when they when happens. they hear the term hump day, oh, they okay. can't right. help themselves. So I'm going hump day. Yeah, but you're more Wednesday. The answer is ooh, a holy day, Sunday. Whoa. I'm the closest. The closest. The closest. The closest. All right, hands behind the back. If you answer incorrectly, you lose a point. Okay. It is not uncommon for people to talk in their sleep, as we know. But what we want to know is, do deaf and mute people ever sign in their sleep? What? What I picture is like this. I can't. I'm not even touching this one. I, I'm not even I, touching I can't one. even touch this one I'll either. Good. I'll try. What, what I picture, what I picture is like you know how you're sleeping. You're like oh fucking. <laughs> Frankie wearing that pink today was, you know, the, you know, like that's that's talking, and then the same thing would be like, you know, it was like something like that. Right? What was that? Whoa! Like, you throwing like, oh. sets up and no, shit. No, it's like you know. This is why. This is why. This is why I didn't. This is why. We didn't need to act Sunday over here. Wow, this is bullshit. Good I'm gonna ball. say they do. They do. Congrats on getting the point. What did it cost? Pissing off a whole fucking community what, of people. I, if anything, I brought light to it. The fact that it happens. Light. Can you make your teeth whiter by smiling for a long time in the sun? I mean, what do I gotta lose? It's a couple, I'm already <laughs> in this place, right, guys? Right, folks? I don't even know. Um, I'm gonna say 
Yes, it does because I have seen that they have like teeth whitening things that are like concentrated like UV UV rays. <laughs> UV rays. I think that was a brilliant justification. But it's wrong. It's all right. But it's wrong. I'm sorry. I might, I might not be winning the game, but I'm winner in your hearts, folks. 90% of women wash their hands after going to the bathroom. What percentage of men do the same? Oh, fuck. We'll go 42%. I'm going to say 50%. I'm going to say down the midi. I think they lied. I still think it's lower than women. All right. So I'm going to go 73%. 75%. Ah, yes. That's this is a horse shit. That's Hands behind the back. What am I, I'm going to do whatever I want anyways. I'm not going to yes. win. Can fish become seasick? Hey, guess what? Watch this. I got nothing to lose here. I don't even Nothing's know. Nothing's dang more dangerous than a man without something to lose. That's, that was close. That's me right now. But like, if you put like- so if you motion sickness. Yeah, right? I would say motion sickness. And if you put a fucking fish in a bag and shake it, they'll die. They'll fucking- That's well, not sick anymore. So I would say yes. They can get seasick. Yes, they can. Bingo, bango, bongo. What's Damn. up? You know, that doesn't really make any sense. Actually. It doesn't need to make sense. Neither does your 73% answer. You just pulled out of nowhere. That doesn't make any sense. What day and what time represent the greatest risk for a couple in a relationship to fight? Frankie answers first. We need a day and a time. I mean, what day is the most miserable? According to Ant, not Thursday. Day of our Lord, baby. Mm. Maybe. I'm thinking Sunday at some point. Okay. You know, the weekends come to an end. People are kind of crashing a little bit. They're not looking forward to the week of work. So I'm going to say Sunday at 7 p.m. My thought process is like the most times I've gotten to fights is like Saturday at like 2 a.m. blasted, you know, at, at, out at a bar Friday a.m. So That's when you get in a fight with your imaginary girlfriend? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's my happiest. If I'm out and I'm drinking, Just I'm living the dream. I'm like, bop, 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 no, bop. Say, I would say Friday. Okay. 11 p.m. I was gonna say, oh my god. Hmm. I feel like, yeah, like him, it would be towards the end of the fucking weekend. I just realized you're holding my hand. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> we'll go oh. like, like, we're like, it's a thirsty Thursday type oh. bullshit, you know? Oh. So we'll go Thursday at 9 p.m. Oh, I forgot, like, the morning with kids. Sunday at 7, Friday at 11, late night arguments, and Thursday at 7? Thursday at 9. Thursday at 9? Wow. No. Thursday at 8 p.m. Well, tied it up. Keep tied it up. Wow. Tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. I can just fucking ruin people's no, day. No, I think he's Actually, out. Actually, bow out. Thank you for participating. Get you out. told me I said I'd never bow out. Get I'm the not a bow out. It's overtime, baby. Different Get rules. Out of here. All right, let me read the question. Thank you, though. Let me read the question. Oh, God. Oh, here All right, move over, Keith. Let's get in here. The most popular activity in bed is sleeping. What comes in second place? You gotta, I, I got the advantage here, you gotta go sex. You gotta go sex. You gotta go sex. Is that the most common thing you do in your bed besides sleep? No. You might have just shot yourself in the foot there. Keith? You know, like you go down a rabbit hole on like TikTok or some bullshit. Ooh. We'll go uh, fucking around on your phone. That's a good answer. Well, neither of you got it, and I'll give you one other guess each. How about that? Holy shit, what? Yeah, rapid fire. Ant, go. No, it's not rapid Jerking fire. Jerking off. No, that's, no, Aunt Keith. He said rapid fire, it's the first yeah. thing I came. Keith, rapid fire, go. Uh, working. No. D uh, complaining about the day. Ant. <laughs> uh, 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 folding laundry. No, Ant. Uh, um, napping. No, that's sleep. What else do you do in your bed? Watch TV. It's a good one. No. Yeah. Reading? Is that your answer? Cause that is correct, baby! <laughs> And just walked it off. Bottom of the ninth. Congratulations, Ant. You are the winner. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, you did good. Oh, my God.